Oh boy, guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And as could be expected, Amber Heard is uh, making the rounds with the media now, mm -hmm. saying that uh, the Johnny Depp trial was not fair. You're it wasn't right. Fair. It wasn't fair. It shouldn't have happened. There shouldn't have been a trial because you shouldn't have lied in the first place. It should have never happened in the first place, right. correct? And she said she just wanted Johnny Depp to move on. Just right, move on, right. Johnny. Nobody's going to believe you, Johnny. Until it's, that's her that has to move on. And now it's so unfair. It's unfair because she looked very, very, very bad. And her career is going to be in shambles. But this is what she wanted to do to Johnny Depp. He was supposed to just roll over and take it mm -hmm. and just go crawl in a hole and die. And now that she's on the receiving end of cancellation, potentially, uh, and that the public opinion of her has soured tremendously, now her and her PR team are going into overdrive trying to spin this uh, story that she was the victim. She remember, was the victim. Remember, she fired her other PR team because she didn't like the optics that she was getting from the public opinion. Uh, so she hired this other guy to try yeah. to undo it, you know, what, halfway through the trial? So yeah, the public opinion matters to her. She goes on about, oh, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, it does, completely matters to you. That's the issue. She's gonna wind up like Tanya Harding on, uh, what was it, like Dumbest Criminal? Oh, World's or, Dumbest. World's Dumbest or something. Like in 20 years, you're gonna be like, oh, Amber Heard, I remember her. I remember her because it rhymes with turd. I remember her. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views. And Rance has over 270,000 subs. Thank you for the support. We have been sort of, kind of, sort of covering the Johnny Depp situation. A bird's eye view. We're not an in-depth Johnny Depp Amber Heard channel. Mostly we just cover how the media reacts to it and how they're, the, the, the narratives that are being pushed around it. Uh, yeah, and they are definitely going on the defense, uh, Heard and her PR team. I mean, they're attacking YouTubers that covered the situation, trying to blame them. Yeah, because they had it was their fault that that she lost, right? Yeah, it was their fault. Their fault that you know they they just covered what was going on in court. Uh, you know, their fault completely. And now, yesterday we did a video where they're they're trying to say like, well, all these YouTubers made so much money off of this. It's not fair. It's not fair. I'm like, I'm sure NBC. This is an exclusive. I'm sure they got paid for this. Well, I love it. Amber Heard breaks silence. I don't blame the jury. She goes on about Depp being a really good actor. Well, that makes one of you. Yeah, right. Uh, so we're going to talk about that. But first, let's talk about public opinion. Because the, the narrative, the narrative has been since this uh, trial happened, since the verdict got handed down, that uh, it's all like MAGA people and the right wing. It was that way before the, the verdict. The white Trump supporters or, you know, with Johnny Depp and, and, um, you, you know, don't believe they ever heard you're, you're obviously alt-right Yahtzee. You're obviously an alt-right Yahtzee. And of course, you know, uh, Johnny Depp does not support Trump. Uh, he's had some very, uh, uh, hot takes on Donald Trump. You know who else does it? This black woman for the Democratic Party account on Twitter that says a woman who screamed Johnny just move on is now doing an interview on the day show to accuse the jury of bias and repeat the lie that once again that Johnny Depp abused her. Amber Heard will never change because abusers never do. But, but wait, this is a, this is a not white person and it's not black. It's not, you know, an alt right Yahtzee. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right. Uh, I like this one. If I could, I would personally thank the judge for allowing cameras in that courtroom. Every day it becomes clear just how necessary it was. Yes, because, again, we've said before, if they did not televise this trial, um, you would have had to rely on the media and their drawings of Amber Heard, you know, sobbing hysterically. Were there pictures where they, where they photoshopped it clearly and they showed yeah, that they photoshopped yeah. tears on her face and different things. So right. So you get, you get to see it for yourself, right? And the public media didn't opinion. sanitize the information and, and to tell you what you should think. Yeah, so this is um, this is funny. This is uh, absolutely hilarious that she's going to say uh, uh, it's not fair. So, yeah, it's not fair. And you didn't see what you thought you saw. Johnny Depp's is a good actor. <laughs> okay, I thought he was too. I thought he was too uh, coked up and drunk to be right. A good actor. I thought they said no. that he wasn't a good actor. That's why he lost his roles. Which one is it? There, heard. Ah, oh, God. So this is an exclusive uh, NBC today, and wasn't it an NBC journalist that was going after that umbrella guy too? Was it? I don't the, remember the money he made. Could have been. The... God, they love counting other people's money. It's just funny to me they because do. I know that a lot of these places they're like, but they never, they never give their seats on what they made. No. So exclusive Amber Heard says role of social media in Johnny Depp trial was not fair, but she doesn't blame the jury. It was completely fair when she used it to to smear Depp. Yeah, she doesn't blame the 
She doesn't blame the jury. Yeah, she doesn't blame the jury because she said that he's a good actor, so it's easy to believe him. But then, remember, it was DC people that came in and said she was not a good actor. Yeah. And that's why she got gone. Yeah, so of course, this is a, a teaser for an exclusive uh, interview with NBC News, which I'm sure is going to get a lot of views and make them a lot of money. How dare they? How very dare they? In a preview clip from Heard's exclusive interview with NBC News. This makes so much more sense mm -hmm. now that NBC News guys are going after uh, Tug and some other YouTubers. Uh, airing Tuesday and Wednesday. Oh, they're going to split into two parts so they can double wait, dip. But wait, are they going to make money on this? They're absolutely are they going to make money? Are you going to post how much money you make? I want. I want. You better make sure that you show us how much the advertisers paid for 30 seconds of advertising on this, on this presentation so we know exactly how much money you made. You better show us because I'm only going to listen to you if you didn't make any money on this. And also an hour-long special on Friday. So three, three days. Three days of Amber Heard that's going to be slathered in advertising. Oh, wouldn't you think they ran the Joy Depp Savage ad during that? I, oh if, I were, if I were uh, Dior, I totally would. I would. I would. I'd be like, yeah, how much does it cost? Yeah, we're going to buy all the, all the ad space. I, I just, yeah. And then let us know how much you paid. <sighs> So this is Amber Heard. Even somebody who is sure I'm deserving of all this hate and vitriol, even if you think that I'm lying, you still can tell me, look look me, in the, look me in the eye and tell me that you think on social media there's been a fair yes. representation. You know what? No, I think a lot of people will look you in the eye and tell you that, yes, on social media there's been a fair representation because people could watch the court case themselves to form their own opinion, Amber. You cannot tell me that you think this has been fair. You know, yeah, I can totally tell you it's been fair. It wasn't fair that... Uh, she wrote an op-ed piece accusing Johnny Depp. Now, I'm not naming him specifically, but who else would well, you're she... you're married to. Who else would she be talking about? Accusing Johnny Depp of, of being a wife beater, you know? And it was all... And that was for PR, too. It was all about publicity. All mm -hmm. of it was about publicity. And then oh, what she got? Lots of accolades. Oh, how brave of you. The Me Too thing championed her as a hero. She got all kinds of, you know... Uh, publicity and you know good press and got given stuff she shouldn't have gotten and then when the truth came out then and the videos that proved the truth and the evidence that came out now she's like it's not fair uh, on social media particularly TikTok, people overwhelmingly supported Depp through the defamation trial including about, the makeup company including the makeup company as of June 3rd the hashtag justice for Johnny Depp had nearly 20 billion views on TikTok while Justice for Amber Heard had over 80 million. Um, hashtags like Amber Heard is guilty and also Amber Heard is a psychopath. Amber Heard is an abuser. Amber Heard is a liar and Amber Turd. And Amber Heard committed perjury is a new one too. Amber Heard using. committed perjury. I mean, this is some shit. Uh, no pun intended. Well, some people get in trouble for perjury and other people don't apparently. <sighs> the jury was instructed to stay off social media. Heard's legal team insisted it still impacted the case. Well, they weren't sequestered. But, so. Okay, but wait, but here's the thing. If, if they had not aired this, right? Yeah. And all the news would have been filtered through the media. Yes. Then if the jury had seen that take or had seen the reactions to those stories without people actually having the actual evidence to view, that would have been completely okay. Just, yeah, just watching her performance without going through a filter without somebody else's opinion, just watching the clips... Where she paused to take a picture with the tissue to her right. face. Right, and the stories were not meshing up. You could watch the trial without any third-party uh, uh, you know, analysis or whatever, come to your own conclusion, you'd still come to the same conclusion that she was guilty. It was obvious what she was right. doing. Right, so people on social media saying that they thought she was guilty, a public opinion saying she was guilty, would have nothing to do with it any more so than you would have accepted it and thought it was fine if public wasn't allowed to have an opinion and it was only through the media and the public opinion through the media became she's innocent, that would have been okay. They, the, the jury could have looked at those articles and videos and that would have been completely fine. I don't care what one thinks about me or what, what judgments you want to make about what happened in the privacy. That's why of, you changed your PR person? Yeah, yeah my own home, yeah. Uh, in my marriage behind closed doors. I don't presume the average person should know these things and I don't take it personally. I'm I don't take it personally, but I'm on here saying you wouldn't tell me this to my face. Uh, I'm going to take the high road. I actually understand, she said. He's a beloved character and people feel they know him. He's a fantastic actor. Uh, they're going to appeal it. Good luck with that. Um, I love it. I, I really don't care. But the whole article is about how she cares. And people wouldn't say it to her face. This is her PR guy. This is absolutely... I don't think they thought... The one that got accused of, of misconduct. Oh, the, yeah. Removed the, from a couple jobs. Yeah, the PR guy that's been removed from, from multiple uh, places of employment for sketchy behavior. Yeah. 
yeah, that's that's who's behind this. So, oh, the irony. I wonder how she's paying him. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, good. Yeah, <laughs> right. Um, did she start? Somebody said she started in OnlyFans and then she shut it down. Uh, or something. That can't be Shit, true, was it? I, I know that they were saying she didn't have money, but she was on private jets and stuff. And people were like, wait a minute. You know, I don't know. I'm not gonna say anything about that because I don't know anything about Space that. Space Daddy maybe bought her one. I no, I think he like he he turned against her. Apparently, is people were oh, saying. God. So I have no idea. Is this like a soap opera? Yeah, this is gonna be a made-for-TV movie for yeah. sure. Whatever happens um, with this happens. What we're talking about is the media at NBC. NBC finds it completely okay if they profit off of it. Tuesday and Wednesday and Friday, every other day, we've got exclusive Amber Heard footage. Come but, and get it. Come but you're not it. allowed to talk about it unless you're them. You know, that's what I, this is what makes me mad. They're gonna they're gonna put this big article out. Oh, it's a teaser. Come look at come. We're gonna get all kinds of money from advertisers and all kinds yes. of money off of this. But how dare that lawyer who's actually qualified to talk about this stuff have an opinion on on uh, YouTube? How dare they? How very dare they? They made some money off of it. Well, but I, 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 by all means, I hope you're doing this completely for free, NBC. Yeah, I'm sure these spots on, on Dateline are going to be millions of dollars. Well, they probably paid her to do it so that she can pay back her debt. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we got to wrap this one up. Yes. As the stomach turns. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume and don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to brute through it, eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. Run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a... Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle to Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Ooh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run him carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap this effer up. Yes. <laughs>